the video, which just sums up where the world is now, and especially where ESPN is. They sent it to the field, and as they were gathering on the set, there's Rick, Rick Riley, who, let's be honest, ruined his career by going to ESPN. Here was a guy who was one of the great writers ever who wrote the back page of SI brilliantly for about 15 years, better than anybody could ever write it. He was brilliant. Went to ESPN. He's terrible on TV. And I like Rick, but he's terrible on TV. He's never found a home at ESPN. And there he is leaning across a set as they go to him. They don't know that they're coming to him because they're not ready. And there he is leaning across, staying to send this to his Scott. Now you're going to make sure to say that I had this meaning Roethlisberger's injury, first on Twitter. That's what Rick Riley was concerned about, whether he was going to get credit for an injury that everybody in America watched happen on the field. What was he looking for his scoop in? That he had what? An injured shoulder? We knew that. What, that he had a sprained shoulder? His tweet didn't even say that. All he said was he saw Roethlisberger leaving the building in his shorts and T-shirt. And that his agent said he had a non-traditional injury. But the idea that this is what Rick's motivation is, now you're going to say that I had this first on Twitter. That sums up where the world is, where ESPN is, what Twitter's about. Uh, everyone had just watched this injury. You want to say you scooped what? The injury? You couldn't scoop it. It happened live on television.